Hey, what's up guys, how you all doing? Paul the Tech Giant here and welcome to the channel. So, around 16 hours ago now, I had a couple of TV engineers around here to replace the panel on my 65 inch B8 OLED from LG. Now, the reason for this was that a uh, number of dead pixels appeared on the panel and I put in a warranty claim with LG and they agreed to swap the panel out because obviously the dead pixels want right and shouldn't be there so they were good enough it fell within the one year warranty period so that was all good guys came round swapped the panel over and uh, yeah all seemed fine on first inspection so the reason for this video today is because on my previous panel what I would do once a month, every month, since the day I purchased the TV, I would run a burning and a vertical banding test to see how the uh, panel progressed over time, to see if any burning occurred, and if it did, when did it occur, and uh, with vertical banding as well, see how bad the vertical banding was and how it progressed over time. Now, because this is a new panel, obviously I'm starting from day one again. So this is basically to get sort of like a baseline of how the panel is from factory fresh. And uh, unfortunately, I ran a 5% gray scale um, before I start this video just now, and it doesn't look good at all to the point um, it is by far the worst panel I've ever seen on LG OLED. Now, I've not done the um, colour sweep test yet, which I do for the um, burning, but um, I'm hoping what I'm seeing on the grayscale doesn't transfer over to the, um, the colour test as such. Fingers crossed it doesn't, and I'm hoping maybe with a couple of automatic panel refreshes that it might sort itself out. But as you uh, will see in a minute, um, yeah, it's absolutely awful. So I think it's time that we uh, crack on with this testing. Here we are then with a 5% grayscale. And uh, I'm sure you can all see the problems that are uh, showing up on the panel. So first off, we have got this uh, vertical line just there. But then we have got these, uh, like this patch here. Now, from what I can figure out, like I said, it's only been 16 hours, but um, earlier on, my son watched a, uh, a film and that had black bars on the top and the bottom of the screen. Now, what it would seem to me is that um, where the black bars were is uh, sort of left an impression on the screen where the bright bit was. So almost sort of like screen burn, but um, like sort of shadowing if you want to look at that, because uh, it can't really be screen burn surely after such a short amount of time. But um, the other reason why I'm thinking these sort of things have like sort of stuck on the screen as such is because of this bar along here. Now, what I think this is from is from when I watched the news for about 15 minutes today. Because if you look closely, that is like the faint outline of the clock that you get on the BBC News. And it looks like it says something like 1111 or something like that. Um, it's a bit hard to make out. Um, but, you know, I'm sure you guys can see that pretty clear, that outline just there. And that line that goes along there and seems to fade out. Now, what I've noticed in the past with other OLED panels, that they seem to come with these sort of like dark patches. And once it's done an automatic sort of a panel refresh after it's been turned off after four hours and done that a couple of times, it can clear up. So then all this black bit and that sort of should all fade away as such and uh, be more like this end where this uh, sort of bar fades out that's what i'm hoping but uh we shall see what it's like when i run the color sweep in a minute if that sort of uh shows up on there but as you can see that looks absolutely terrible but um i'm just going to quickly show you guys as well what i mean about with the uh sky 
uh, not Sky News, the BBC News here. So what I'm going to do is just uh, come out of this ever so quickly. So just bear with me a sec, guys. I want to do it um, live as such. So uh, you can see it popping up on the screen. So I'm just going to keep it in that same sort of area there whilst I um, fire up the news and um, hopefully, there we go, there we go. Can you see what I mean? So you've got that um, line there and that clock and that is exactly what seems to have sort of burn in if you want to call it that uh, at the moment which is very very bizarre because literally I had the news on for yeah like 15 20 minutes something like that I don't know it wasn't very long at all um, certainly like no more than half an hour at very most do you know what I mean and uh, you know me some watched the film earlier and it just seems absolutely nuts um, I'll just go back again sorry if this is dragging on a bit but um I just want to document all this and you can see it there. This is just as it fires into YouTube. You can see it. So I'll just keep it on that same spot. Go back to the grayscale. And when it comes up, yeah, look at it. That is awful. Really, really bad. I mean, you've got to remember my previous OLED, I had for, I think it was 4,000 hours I clocked up on it. And uh, I never had anything like this. You know, I've had it 16 hours. I've watched news for a few minutes. Me son watched a film, you know, regular TV and that. And the screen looks like that. Absolutely mad. So anyway, um, what I think we do now is uh, run the colour sweep. Got the colour sweep now running. And uh, I'm just going to let this cycle through. Before then, I stop it on some solid colours to have a closer look at the panel. We'll see if there's any dead pixels on this one or anything like that. And to see if that um, that bar and that clock has uh, retained into the colours. Right, I have stopped it on a nice bright white now. And let's go a bit closer to this screen and just have a close inspection of the panel and move along. Now the dead pixels on my other one are around here. Obviously, I'm not expecting them to be in the same place, but still I'm uh, pointing that out for any of you guys who uh, are new to the channel. So like I said, I'm looking for any dead pixels and that all looks Good. And let's go back to where that, that time was, the clock. And I can't really see that bar on there. So uh, we will now move on to the next colour. On to a lovely blue now. And if I uh, just zoom that in a little bit more there. And let's go and have a closer look again. And I'd really appreciate it if uh, you guys have a closer look at the image as well. Because quite often when I am filming, it's uh, a bit hard to concentrate on what I'm filming and looking at the uh, panel as well. And I know in the past some of you guys have actually spotted dead pixels before uh, I have. And I've not noticed them in my own video. So uh, yeah, please uh, keep your eyes peeled for anything. It's moving down. So we're in this area again, where that uh, line was and the clock, and I can't see anything there. And so far, I can't see anything obvious with this panel. I mean, I don't expect it to be actual proper burning, like I said, but it does sort of seem like burning, what I've seen, you know, with the, uh, the line, and that is very strange. Um, like I say, it's a bit like sort of shadowing as such, but it's not showing up in the colours at the moment, so fingers crossed it may disappear. Right, let's uh, move on to the next colour. On to a lovely green now, and uh, previously this was the colour that really showed up those dead pixels, so uh, this should be a good one again to highlight any if there are any there, which hopefully there won't be because I really don't want to send uh, this panel back 
and I have to have the uh, engineers out again. So I do apologize if this video is taking a little while, but you know, I want this to be sort of my uh, reference point if you want to look at it like that. And uh, you know, so we can uh, look back at it if there is any degradation, uh, <coughs> degrading, should I say, excuse me, in the panel over time. And yeah, that looks all fine. Nothing in the middle. And again, going back to that area, the bottom right there, and I can't see nothing with that clock or that bar on there. So that is great news when it comes to that. Right, move on to the next colour. And the final colour is a lovely deep red. Doesn't look as deep. Oh, there it does on that one. It just seems to be the wide angle that uh, makes it look a little bit washed out. But yeah, in closer, lovely and red. So let's get up close and personal one last time. Starting at the top left, moving across, and that all looks good. Moving down, and that problematic area there again, all looks good. Move across the bottom. back up yeah all looks fine so uh yeah just go closer there because th is that something there I'm not sure hard to say it's making my eyes go a bit funny looking this close at the screen but no actually no i think that's all good so that's uh yeah great news that uh what we're seeing on the uh gray scale isn't showing up on the uh, color sweep. Right, I've just come back to the 5% grayscale one more time just to show you guys that it is still there even after going through that color sweep that it's not disappeared. And as you can see, that patch, the line, the line across the bottom is in like the whiter line this is. And that timer box again so yeah very strange let's just hope it clears up well it's not a great start to this uh new panel i'm afraid as you've seen and uh i do apologize to you guys if this video has gone on a little bit longer than expected but i wasn't expecting that five percent grayscale to be looking that bad and uh, i'm just glad now that i have documented it fully you guys have seen it for yourself and uh, like I said, I've got a good baseline to go from now and hopefully things will get better when it does uh, an automatic panel refresh when I shut it off in a minute and uh, leave it overnight. So I'll be shutting off this uh, BBC News and hopefully that and those lines will disappear. If after a few days of it being turned off and on, they don't clear up, then I'm going to have to get back onto LG and maybe get them to replace the panel again. So there you have it then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video today and if you did I would really appreciate a thumbs up and please don't be giving me a thumbs down for the bad panel just a thumbs up for appreciating the video for what it is. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel then maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. And if you do, don't forget to hit that bell icon because otherwise you will not be notified of my latest uploads. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.